left to right. 45 minutes on the clock in this first half. Patriot League women's soccer is set to get underway. And we're off from Byer Small 76 field as the Raiders look to move down the right flank immediately through Anna Keeling. Quick cross is launched behind the net of the Lehigh goalkeeper. Her name is Maggie Usajoglu, the freshman from Bridgewater, New Jersey. Starting in net tonight. And she has started in all but one match over the course of the Mountain Hawk season. And joining her out there in the field, Corinne Light, Alex Odell, Imani Ashman, Ava Schaller, Emma Rosing, Wendy Fisher, Ryle Shoy, Hope Flanagan, Maddie Murphy, Aaron Keefe. As for Colgate out in the field, we already mentioned Anna Keeling up top along with Ali Giovino and Ellie Stokes patrolling the left flank of the attack. The midfield manned by Sarah and Ellie. The goal scorer from this past weekend, Ari Bizanson. Emily Amano in the midfield as well. And then Maggie Cotter, Olivia Anderson, Nikki DiCaprio, Lena Schaefer have been the starting four in the back for really the entire season for Colgate. Grace Ponsack continues her string of starts for the Raiders in net. A quick note, by the way, as well, our graphics not working off the jump tonight. We apologize for that. We'll have them back up as soon as possible. Right now, 43-15 to go in the first half. A throw in for Olivia Anderson and Colgate. Forward and cleared away by the Lehigh defense. Great night for soccer, by the way. It was it's a little bit warmer out tonight than it was on Saturday. Uh, Quite a large amount of long sleeves were broken out on Saturday. And tonight, just over 60 degrees just after kickoff. The whistle and a foul against Lehigh. Anderson, short throw to Stokes. And the ball through. Giovino looking to get on the end of it. She does in front of a defender. Trying to get by, but was nestled off. That was Shoy, or Shuey. Manning the center back position and now moving into that position again. Pass goes awry, Giovino giving chase and looking to shepherd the ball out of play, playing it only as far as Stokes. Not the best pass there. Stokes crossing in the middle, blocked away. And ends up being cleared down the sideline into the waiting feet of Avis Schaller and out for a Lehigh throw. As we mentioned, Lehigh 5-5-1, five, 3-2 five and one. Three and two in the conference. Wins against Navy, Holy Cross, and Lafayette. Losses to Army and Boston University. And Army was just here over the weekend and took that 1-0 defeat to Colgate. losses in Patriot League play for the Mountain Hawks coming on the road by that 1-0 margin as Schaefer clears away an attacking ball for a Lehigh throw. Up to take it, Hope Flanagan. In towards Wendy Fisher. Ball lasered in, cleared away. Oh. Misjudging it that time on the defensive header was Shuey. Now Giovino with just one defender in front of her takes a shot. It was blocked away and second time cleared. 
Imani Ashman on the case, tracking back from her left defensive spot. And with just over 40 minutes to go, the first little bit of danger from Colgate's Ali Giovino averted by the Lehigh Mountain Hawks defense. Colgate will earn a throw though as we tick under 40 minutes to play, 39-48 and counting. Maggie Cotter. Probably a little bit more. And what Burn, is on the floor? No, it does not earn a throw. It bounced off of her as well and out for a Lehigh okay, throw. Sure. Um, yeah. I can't adjust the, like, the up and down. Yeah. This is, this is, oh, okay, sure. Yeah. Yep, thank you. And now back the other way. Lehigh looking to switch the point of attack. Here they do so. Nice weighted ball for Wendy Fisher. Cutting back inside on Anelli. Trying to play a ball through. It was one of the forwards. Looked like Alex Odell charging through the gap left in the Colgate defense. It wasn't open for long, though. Now Besenson moving inside. Had the goal against Army. Was looking to pass. Has Giovino slipped it through. But a flag up for offside. As again, a threatening move from Ali Giovino. Just went a little too early, and the Mountain Hawk defensive line stepped up quickly to catch her off and prevent what would have been the match open goal. Emily Amana. Bouncing ball is going to be cleared out for, no, it's kept in before going out for a Lehigh throw by Anna Keeling. Schaefer playing a ball out wide for Anderson to run. Now a Nelly whistle here, foul on the edge. Wendy Fisher, the culprit. And Schaefer, who tends to like to take these free kicks long, will allow some numbers to step forward here. Left arm outstretched. Right footed kick away. First header won by Lehigh. Second ball tracked down and cleared away by the winning Emma Raising. Thirty-six forty-five to go here in the first half. Scoreless in for most of these first 10 minutes, though not without a couple of dangerous chances coming from the home side. The Colgate Raiders, Giovino and Stokes up at the top are pressing high, forcing the issue, causing turnovers here early. And Giovino almost a goal scorer already, if not for the offside flag. Flag from the assistant referee here will go the way of Lehigh. Now a throw for Colgate, Maggie Cotter forward towards Keeling was looking to flick onto a teammate, but it's cleared away out of play and out of the park as well. Another throw for Cotter. Just looking forward for Giovino. Amani Ashman. Moonshot clearance. Schaefer back to head it away, out for a Lehigh throw. Low driven clearance from Schaefer. 
Now Lehigh looking to press the attack again, working through Wendy Fisher on this right flank. And Olivia Anderson up to the task, cleared away for a throw. 35 minutes to go in this first half, scoreless, between Lehigh and Colgate. Odell is forced off and allows the ball to roll out of play. A throw coming for the Mountain Hawks. Alex Odell will step in to take this corner. Played short. Back heel to Odell, was looking for a cross, and they were trying to set something up there between Odell and Emma Rosing, but were unable to. Instead, netting a throw out of the situation. This is Rosing. Playing up to Maddie Murphy. Back to Rosing, tried the cross. Besenson there to block away another Lehigh throw. Into the box and forced away from the ball, Corinne Light. Still danger here though for Colgate. But Stokes doing very well defensively, clears the lines momentarily. Turned over in the end though. Stokes down the line. Giovino was there. It's picked up by Besenson instead. Knocked off a Lehigh defender and turned right back over to their defensive line. Long ball over the top. Light giving Chase Schaefer desperation clearance there. It's out for another Lehigh corner. Their second in just about as many minutes. Odell will trot over to take it again with 33 minutes left to play in this first half. Taking long this time, out swinger, Ponsack doesn't come, the header. Wide and a little bit high, but, oh no, it will be out for a Colgate goal kick. Softer passing ends up in a turnover. Going the way of Colgate. Olivia Anderson will track back to Schaefer. Now to Caprio. Out wide, Cotter in an advanced position. Looking to speed past him. Her mark that time, unable to, and it ends up rolling out for a Lehigh throw. Amani Ashman will take. This is Ashman. Forward for Ava Schauer, it was turned over. Besenson. Skipping past two Mountain Hawks, playing wide for Stokes in space. Stokes, nice step over, got past one. Low driven cross in, easy to deal with though, and cleared away by Lehigh. Out, 40 yards away for a Colgate throw. Anderson will allow her teammates to track back to give her an option. Throw goes to Stokes, through the back that time. Comes Wendy Fisher. Foul on her, We've been a couple on her so far, and now Schaefer play the free kick short to Olivia Anderson. Low ball driven in towards Giovino. It clipped off the shoulder that time of Riley Shuey. And was cleared away into Colgate's own half for another Raider throw. Cotter loops the ball forward. Headed once, headed twice, headed a third time now by Keeling. And uh, almost ended up on the foot of Giovino. Her back heel clipped it away. 
And with 10 ticks over 30 minutes to go, a Lehigh Mountain Hawks throw. Well, if you've been watching, you, you'll now notice the score bug is operational. Appreciation for the quick look by our technical team. All that. Talking about that, though, Colgate, another attacking chance. Sarah Anelli was driving forward, had her shot blocked. Still danger here coming from Colgate. Anelli out wide Stokes. Tracks the ball down before it went out of play, and she ends up winning a corner. Lena Schaefer quick up to take it. Schaefer had the delivery on that game winning goal. It's not from a corner though, but a position about 10 yards away. Overshoots everyone here as Emily Amano will look to track down the second ball and is able to keep it in play. Only as far as the Lehigh defender, though, a pass intended for Ava Schaller ran out of play. And Colgate will retake possession on the throw. Givino attempting to spin past her defender, went to ground, no signal from the official. Now Corinne Light unable to handle a pass and that'll be out for a Colgate throw. Anelli to Anderson. Stokes. Oh, rocket ball towards Giovino, it went off her shoulder and it will be the Mountain Hawk goalkeeper, Sojaglu, coming to claim on the edge of her 18. was looking for Keeling, cut out instead by him. Lehigh's Amani Ashman, then turned right back over to Ari Besenson. Givino playing hold up. Anelli, able to shoulder a defender away from the ball meant for her. Out wide Stokes. Looking to break down the defender. Took a shot and it flashed by the near side. Keeper had it covered. Kick coming from Maggie who sold you glue. Header ends up the way of Wendy Fisher who has switched her point of attack now. Her and Corinne Light swapping sides of the Lehigh attack. A whistle here, a rash play in the eyes of the uh, head official Steve Mononino and the actions of Ari Bizenson. Results in a free kick coming for Lehigh in their own half. Dangerous play coming the other way after that sequence as Besenson went to ground.
Archer and Light. Out wide to the overlapping Flanagan. The overlap unsuccessful though as her pass was cut out by the Raiders defense. Flanagan to Schaller. Was looking to spin around Schaefer but had it poked from behind. Here sets Besenson on her way forward. Ball played through for Giovino. It clipped off her foot and rolled only as far as the the eye defender Aaron Keefe. First substitute set to come on for Colgate here at the next appropriate stoppage. Again, the one-two not quite connecting between Stokes and Besenson that time. Whistle foul against Colgate, goes the way of Lehigh. And keeps right-footed blast high into the night. Over the head of everybody and it'll be allowed to roll out for a Colgate goal kick which will allow the substitute to make her way onto the field, Ali Giovino. Early exit for her will allow Anna Schremp to try her hand at breaking down the Lehigh defense. Giovino had her chance and she did put it away though. The offside flag negated any effort she put into that. And here we are scoreless with just over 23 minutes to go. Shrimp immediately going to ground with some contact and no whistle from the official as the ball played forward from Lehigh will be cut off by Ponsack before rolling out for a goal kick. to Emily Amano, stops, working one, two with Besenson, charging forward through the middle. Besenson looking for the shot and spilled for a second, but covered up by you soldier glue. First save you could think from the Lehigh goalkeeper, though it may have been going wide anyway. Drop kick from you soldier glue. Headed away, but backwards towards Ponsack. Charging on it is a Lehigh attacker. And the half volley that time from Wendy Fisher tracking over from the her new position on the left side of the attack. Well wide, but a iffy moment there from Ponsack on whether to come or not. Shrimp. Lofted pass towards the winger. Anna Keeling was out of play on the, well in the air. Amano. Still Amano. Forward looking through for Keeling. Amani Ashman there in defense. Amani Ashman unable to get the ball out of play. Chance here, Shrimp with a shot and falling down to her right to save from Usoljiglu. again on the offensive as Stokes was tripped up that time. And the clock will stop for the issuing of a, the first card of the night. Yellow in nature for Aaron Keefe. Tactical foul in the eyes of the referee. 
Stopped the Colgate attack and allowed numbers to get back on the defensive side for the Mountain Hawks. Schaefer's free kick lofted towards Shrimp. Settles with her right foot, trapped it back to her left. Turning now again to her right. Few options for her. Looks to take on another defender and another and turned it over in the end. Schaefer stepping up hard in the midfield on defense and is called for the foul that time a little too aggressive against Wendy Fisher. Ball was played quickly, the official will bring that back as it wasn't reset properly. Cotter. Now Keeling against Damani Ashman. Losing out that time was Keeling. Long switch headed up by Anderson, only as far as Schaller. Situated right behind her, looking to turn towards the corner. Two Raiders come to meet her. And two Raiders able to stop her from keeping the ball in play and earning a Colgate goal kick. Subs onto the field for both sides. Two for Lehigh. Wendy Fisher, Maddie Murphy jog off the field. On in relief for the two Hawks are number nine, Chloe Sherman. And number 16, Sophie Liss. Maddie Capillo also stepping in for her first action for the Raiders tonight. With Stokes, the woman who exits. Long ball toward Pond Sack. She camps out under it, claims. is Capillo looking for Keeling and the pass a little too hot for her. Rolling out for a Lehigh throw. One more sub ready to come on for Colgate. Besenson looking to play through for Shrimp. Two Lehigh defenders there to cut it off and Shepard it back to the waiting gloves with his soldier glue. Sarah Nelly. Early ball played towards Shrimp. Unable to catch up to it. Cut off in the end by Aaron Keefe. Correction, by the way, that yellow card was not applied to the tally of Keefe, but Hope Flanagan. Instead, hey, hey. 
Lehigh looking to relieve pressure out of the back. They look to do so through Flanagan. Splitting the legs of Anelli and eventually cut off and losing out on a small duel with Besenson. Corinne Light cutting once, cutting twice around Schaefer towards Anderson and forced to save at a pawn sack on a really sharp angle shot. It'll be a corner for Lehigh. One sub for either side, Ava Schaller making way for Lehigh. Replaced by number 11, Kira Saxton. As a header here runs all the way through. Amano was the substitute to exit for Colgate. Taking her place is Lauren Rogus. Shrimp looking to play towards Capillo, able to do so. Now Besenson for Nelly, cut off by Flanagan. Under a quarter of an hour to play. Here in the first half, scoreless between Lehigh and Colgate. Light. Working on Olivia Anderson. Anderson. Just cleared away in the end by Schaefer. A Lehigh throw deep in the corner. Flanagan, quick turn. Saxton. Passing here. Not necessarily sharp, but semi-effective from Lehigh as they look to keep the pressure going. Anna Keeling, though, has other ideas. Able to move back into a defensive position and break up play. Caught her low-driven pass is towards Shremp. She was hoping for a one-two with an attacking teammate, unable to find one. Long switch for Saxton. Able to keep it in, poked out for a throw. Olivia Anderson was closing her down. Flanagan cutting towards the goal line, whips in across through most of the attackers and defenders. It ends up being cleared away by Maggie Cotter. Anna Keeling serves as the release. And now Capillo trying to outrace Amani Ashton. She does so. Shrimp fighting for possession up top and just couldn't have it. Taken away by Shuey. Besenson. Footwork got her past one Lehigh midfielder. Could not get her past Maddie Murphy. Two more subs ready to come on for Colgate. And the next opportunity, it will be here. As Anna Keeling and Sarah Nelly will step out. Jordan Jutton is one of the two entrants. Devin Marutis. 
Demi. Marutus, excuse me, the other. Besenson towards the sideline. Ball played forward. This is Shremp. Still Shremp. Ambitious shot curling towards the corner and it forced a save. And it was Soldier Glue. Set herself up perfectly though. That ball floating towards the corner. Looked like it was almost perfectly placed, but the keeper well positioned to make that save and make it only to where she could get it afterwards. Under 10 minutes to go here in the first half. We're scoreless. Byer Small 76 field in Hamilton. Colgate and Lehigh Patriot League foes. Through 35 minutes and change playing a scoreless game. Be whistled down for a foul. Clock will be stopped again. And it'll be another card. And Israel Shuey. And now a Raider down on the far end of the field as the clock is stagnant at 9.25. Does look to be Shremp who's down on the opposite end of the field. Sub is set to come on for Lehigh as well, by the way. as Shrimp will be assisted off the field. A change up top by the looks of it, Corinne Light stepping out. Emily Holzer stepping in for Lehigh. Meanwhile, the substitute for Shrimp is Paige Foa. Ball in, headed up by Rogus. Settled down by Besenson for a moment and Jutton unable to get to the third ball to keep it alive for Colgate. Pass slipped by the Lehigh defense but recovered. Schaller. Forward towards Liss. And out for a Colgate throw. <laughs> Flanagan. Now Saxton and the Mount Hawks attack will be forced back beyond the halfway line. Throw coming for them. Saxton. Ball one in the end by Besenson. Foa. Rogus ball forward towards Jutton. Covered up by Shuey. Top ball rolling towards the 18 of Ponsack. Uh, hardly giving chase was the central attacker, Liss. An easy take for Ponsack, her punt into the air. Only a mountain hawk there. The newly inserted Holzer. 
This is Holzer, and she was unable to keep the ball in play. It's out for a Colgate throw with just over 7.20 remaining. Cotter with speed up the right flank into the middle for Foa. And Foa unable to win her duel against Ryel Shuey. Out wide, Kira Saxton in for Chloe Sherman. Clearance out by Nikki DiCaprio. Allows Lehigh a throw. Three takes over five minutes to go. Scoreless here in the first half that is not gone without chances for either side. Uh, some missed, some neglected by the rules of the game, including Ali Giovino's near goal that ended up in an offside call. Liss charging goal line. Oh! Well, somehow it looked like that stayed in. It did not. It's out for a goal kick. But if it had, there was a chance for a Mountain Hawk attacker to get on the end of that. No Colgate defender in sight in the far post. Even if it had, it looks like the ball would have abated all of them. Schaefer taking the goal kicks now for Ponsack. Header forward, collected by Jutton. Now Foa. Back for Capillo. Jutton looked for it to be wrestled to the ground, and the official said there was nothing in it. And Besnison can't settle the ball popped into the air. Short, quick passing, advantage played here by the referee. As a Colgate midfielder was taken down. Balls. <laughs> well, trapped under Paige Foa. It looks like she did that purposely and she's whistled for a violation by the official. Capello calling for a pass. She gets it through. 
Coming from behind was Chloe Sherman to knock it away out for a Colgate throw with 2.20 remaining in the first half. Colgate will get a throw deep into Lehigh's own half now. Besenson, Anderson's cross blocked away. Out for another Colgate throw. Kira Saxton looking to switch the field of play. Maggie Cotter there. Whiffed on what looked like a clearance. There's danger there. There's a potential for a call of a handball with the keeper picking that ball up. The official said, ah, no, I saw that. One minute to go in the half, and both sides being physical in the midfield, Capilla whistled for a foul that time as the ball's cleared well away. Clock ticking down to 40 seconds as Lehigh sends bodies forward and Colgate brings them back. Header away by Jutton. Play out wide, Flanagan. Cuts inside. Let's a ball fly, pass into the middle. Rogus in there, tied up. And the whistle will go against Lehigh this time with 20 seconds. Schaefer will take this kick with five seconds and she'll just launch it out of play and that will do it for the first half. Scoreless in Hamilton. Lehigh and Colgate both with chances to score, both unable to do so. 45 minutes down, 45 to go from Byer Small Field at Colgate University. Patriot League Soccer on ESPN Plus continues in a quarter of an hour. We'll see you for the second half in 15 minutes. That here in the second half. 45 minutes on the clock as we tick down towards the end of regulation. And we're underway. Lehigh begins this half in possession, of which they saw most in their defensive midfield, 34% to be exact. They quarter of the time they had the ball, they were down on Colgate's end. For Colgate, different story entirely. Most of the possession in the attacking half. When they had it, 69% of the time they were on the, the high side of the field. Unable to come up with very many dangerous chances though. Only a couple of shots from Ellie Stokes. Giovino obviously had what looked to be the most dangerous chance and the most costly for Lehigh. Uh, unfortunately for the Raiders, again, called back for offside. Quick ball through the middle here. Lena Schaefer first to it. She'll clear back to Ponsack, who really hasn't had much to do, just the one save. Raiders looking to play out of the back here. Maggie Cotter. Ball through, looking for Ellie Stokes. Behind Ashman, sharp angle shot will hit the side net and be out for a Lehigh goal kick. Conversely for Lehigh, 
their freshman goalkeeper, Maggie Usoljaglu, three saves. Though the balls really floated on the shots that were put on it. She had little to no trouble grabbing them and keeping them, though the action she took to get there may have hinted at another level of difficulty. But both goalkeepers, for the most part, have had stress-free nights, minus a few iffy moments. One to two on each side. A pair of yellow cards in this match as well, both on the Lehigh side to Rael Shuey and Hope Flanagan. Cotter's cross, teasing in. It's softly lifted and off the volley at that time was Emily Hamano, and she was well off the mark, hit it wrong. Usoljaglu's goal kick fading towards the head of Ellie Stokes. She's working second time to beat Corinne Light to the second ball, unable to do so. Shuey, an absolute bullet down to the other end, headed away by Lena Schaefer, collected by Anna Keeling and Bezenson but turned right back over to Lehigh. Out wide, they look to go to Wendy Fisher, who's able to keep the ball in play momentarily, but no teammate near it. And well worked by the defensive Colgate. So they're able to earn a goal kick. It does look like Merritt Smith, who, no, that is Anderson with long sleeves now. Having changed at half. Bezenson, first and loose ball one time, first to it second time, looking to work against Shuey, sharp angle. Who sold your glue up to the task again as it bounced up into her chest. But Bezenson again showing that knack for finding space and taking the advantage when she deems to have it. Disarray here at the back for Colgate. They're able to clear away. But the pass back into the mixer from Hope Flanagan went awry and out for a Colgate throw. This is an Ellie. Real long ball towards Stokes. It went past her, it went past Imani Ashman as well. Doesn't look like it's gonna roll out of play. Stokes able to keep it in. Yeah, but lost her footing and couldn't get back to it again. Cotter, cutting inside Corinne Light, back to Emily Amano. Outside of the foot pass towards Giovino is only through towards a soldier glue who scoops up and allows her lines to clear forward. Colgate defense backtracking here. Corinne Light winning a duel with Cotter. Schaefer able to win in the end though, but concedes a corner. 
Fourth of the night now for Lehigh. Colgate just one on their tally. And it will again be Alex Odell who looks to take. Odell and Ingswinger this time. One header took it across the face of goal and it ends up being cleared away by a Nelly that will roll out for a Lehigh throw. Schaller will not have a chance to move inside the box as Lehigh was called for a foul outside of it, away from the ball. Cotter. Working against Light, looking for a passing option. She'll choose to try and go around Light, some contact there, and it'll end up being a Colgate throw off of Light's foot. Carr looking forward for Giovino, it bounced over her, and the strong clearance away from Shuey. A mano forward to Anelli, poked away towards Wendy. Wendy Fisher now played wide, shower, towards the middle, and her pass intercepted in the end by Olivia Anderson. Through the middle, Giovino left it for Bezenson. Not enough on it, though, to get to her. Again, Schaller. Poked away by Schaefer, had the ball poked away. That was from Schaller. Still has it, though, looking across, unable to do so, and Schaefer able to earn a goal kick for her side. Nikki DiCaprio, Anelli was looking to try and play out wide for Cotter, couldn't do so, and the mistake won't hurt her because she won it back. Giovino to Emily Amano. DiCaprio looking to go through the middle towards Giovino, couldn't find her. Amano had her forward back to Giovino. And whistle foul back where Amano looked to have been taken down. Schaefer, a long ball forward, was looking to find a gap to find Keeling streaking down the left flank. Could not. Wendy Fisher ends up with the ball at her feet, but a turnover. Nearly that is for Colgate. It ends up being cleared down to Ava Schaller. And this time Keeling won't be able to catch up with the loose ball. Perhaps a foul called against Keeling that time. It does look to be that. Ava Schaller, again, outdueled by the Colgate defense, and Giovino will look to hold up play to allow runners to come with her, but her pass again. Unable to find a Colgate attacker, and instead, it is out for a throw. A substitute comes on for Lehigh as well. Maddie Murphy checks out. Chloe Sherman, an early check-in here in the second half. Oh, 
Ball hits the official here, and that will uh, that will spark a quick stoppage here, and a drop ball. Schaller gets around to Anderson. Low driven cross in, it's bouncing around, and not clear yet. Still in there, Schaller, a sharp cross, knocked away, keeling back from a forward spot to help defend and clear up the field out for a Lehigh throw. Sherman up towards Corinne Light, looking to turn, does so, pass in the middle and Ponsack outstretched from her line. Able to cut off that cross before a runner could come in and tap it in. <laughs> Booming punt from Ponsack. As Colgate looked to get back on the attacking end of things. Fisher dueling against Cotter, and Cotter won out that time. Looking into the middle for Stokes, a little one-two with Bezenson, Giovino calling for it on the flank. She'll get it. With some space, trying to get around Amani Ashman. Physical play by both players involved, and it will end up rolling out for a Colgate throw, yes. Booming clearance will chase Lena Schaefer all the way back towards her goal. She plays to Ponsack, who works opposite to DiCaprio. Again, the Raiders working through Bezenson. Has some space in front of her, looking to play a ball through towards Anelli and wasn't able to get it there. Claims for a handball from Lehigh. They have possession anyway. Cotter inside to Amano. And the <laughs> rushed pass from Odell out wide towards Light went out of play. Time Corinne Light able to win a throw. <laughs> Sophia List back into the game for Lehigh. Wendy Fisher subbed out. Be sure to see her back in this game before it's over. This is Liss. And the man, hey, man, head man in blue. Boards Colgate to throw this time. Bezenson. 
Her pass cut out by Imani Ashman. Ava Schaller. Oh, a lot of contact there. Advantage played for Lehigh, and that foul will be given as no advantage uh, came of the play. Long ball played forward by Aaron Keefe and a whistle for a dangerous play against Lehigh this time. Foot up near the head of a defender. So now Nikki DiCaprio will play the other way for Colgate. Giovino first onto it, now Besenson. Looking to play through and a nice pass flicked back to Besenson by Nelly. Out wide they go, does Colgate and the cross came to nothing. It was well behind the net, out for a Lehigh goal kick. Soldier Glue's goal kick finds Liss. And Cotter cuts out her pass only for a throw. Besenson forward for Stokes. Colgate looking to pass their way around this Lehigh defensive shape. Ball at the feet of Sarah and Ellie right now. here from Colgate in the middle. Doesn't amount to anything except a long clearance that time from Shuey. And header back from Cotter. Liss up there fighting with her. Cotter able to win the duel and earn a well, concede a Lehigh throw. Subs to come on for Lehigh as well. And a little whistle here and a stoppage is Cotter is a little gimpy getting up. The official wants to check on her. And now he'll allow the substitute to come on. It is for Ava Schaller. And it is Emily Holzer who checks in. Lofted ball wide, Liss trying to play through to an overlapping Ashman. But it was behind her and Ashman unable to get to it. It's a Colgate throw, 24 minutes in ticking to play and a Keeling checking out. Maddie Capillo checks in and then will send a Nelly forward to work with, in coordination with Stokes. On that front line of the attack. This is a ball towards Stokes and Rael Shuey. Working on a card tonight. Playing the ball out for a Colgate throw. Maggie Cotter a throw to Stokes. He was looking for Giovino on the quick one too and couldn't find her. Schaefer will play forward. Keith there in defense.
Keith again a clearance. Endless's header able to be blasted away that time by Shuey. Imani Ashman. Able to find Corinne Light. Working against Nikki DiCaprio. Ball into the middle. Runner coming through on the attack and unable to connect on the pass that time as Cotter plays up the field towards Giovino. It's out, though, for a throw and substitutes from either side. Kira Saxton checking back in for Corinne Light. Ali Giovino checking out and Well, it looks like Kara Schmidlein is into the game for the first time tonight. And that is indeed the case. Merritt Smith has also checked in by the looks of things. No, she has not, but another substitute set to check on, and that does look like Merritt Smith, who's standing over there. It's Colgate throw here. Substitute not allowed right now for whatever reason. I'm not sure. It's a free kick. Ashman's... Winning in the first ball goes awry only towards Sarah Anelli. Uh, ball played wide now for Olivia Anderson. Looking into the middle for Stokes. Keith was there to cut it out. But a concession of a Colgate throw about halfway into Lehigh's own end. Now Merritt Smith checks in. Maggie Cotter out. Smith will take over on the left side of the fence and push Olivia Anderson over onto the right side. And Colgate's possession in the offensive end short-lived as they give up a throw. Little spell possession near the 18 for Colgate here now. Anelia spin, a pass inside. It was cut out by Keith Stokes, unable to get there. Keith again playing through towards Sophia Liss. Got it there, but it won't go anywhere else as Ari Bezenson is on the case. Now Schmidt line. Working against her opposite, Moni. Ashman and drawing a foul. Ryle Shuey, free kick down into Colgate's end. Schaefer with the first header, upended, and that'll draw a whistle and a foul. Header only as far as Stokes and falling down. And claiming she was tripped that time was Anelli. There's, there is no a signal for a trip from the official and he stops the clock to tell Anelli that's the case. Actually, it looks as though Nelly may have a problem with some equipment. Something with her, her cleats, but she has quickly amended the issue with help with the athletic training staff, and uh, we'll be back underway. 19-12, ticked down now. 
And it was a Colgate throw as it's quickly taken towards Stokes and no Raider there on the second pass to receive. In the midfield, Saxton. Out wide, Amani Ashton. here for offside as the assistant referee's flag went up. Ball on the far side of the field. Schaefer will have to back up a bit to take the kick. Turned over. Far side of the field. Flanagan. Beaten to the loose ball by the Colgate defense. But then volley back down the other way towards DiCaprio. A header forward. Same from Schaefer. And a foul will be called in the midfield on Saxton. Long switch of play, Schmidt line onto it. Can she get there and keep it in? No. And that kind of night for either offense. Couple of chances here or there. Steady defensive performance from both sides in this one. Really, maybe one clear cut chance at peace. Who will get the next one, though, is the question. Schmidt line forced to track outside to keep up with the pass from Stokes, and Ashman was there as well to cover up on the defensive end. Colgate into another attack here. Ball with Capillo in the midfield. Out wide, Anelli. Chopped one forward into the box towards Shuey, and her clearance. Wrong foot at that time and out for a Colgate corner. Only the second of the night for the Raiders. Lena Schaefer will take this one. With the right foot, will swing in. Plenty of bodies forward for Colgate. It's taken, it's long, it's a header from Amano, and best save of the night from either keeper. And it comes from Maggie Osoljoglu. Number five for her on a header through traffic. Sense a little more urgency on the attacking end from Colgate now, though. Corner may have been by mistake from the Lehigh defense, but they've been on the end of one of the two, and they've had a couple of chances there through the run of play. Olivia Anderson looking to help set up another one of those chances, working the one two with Schmidt line. Now Bezenson. Still Bezenson. It's has the ball poked away from her feet by Sh by Rosing. Saxton. Capillo working hard on the attacking end, able to win the loose ball. Now Stokes. 
Stokes was trying to cheek a little ball in towards Capilla that time, couldn't find her. Ends up on the feet of Schmidt line and her centering pass towards Stokes was cut out as well. Now Saxman on the left by Bezenson. Out wide here and that will be a goal kick. Sub sets come on for Colgate. Jordan Jutton back onto the field for Ari Bezenson. Short goal kick from the soldier glue here. Jutton looking to force the issue in possession, unable to do so, and Olivia Anderson will be shoved off the ball, and that'll be a foul called against Liss as she was trying to prevent her from keeping the ball in play. Long ball forward to Caprio. Header won by Shuey. Amano's header forward, cut out by Keep. Amano's still working hard though and able to win possession back momentarily for Raiders. Another ball forward, and that'll just roll out for a Lehigh goal kick. More subs for Lehigh. Saxton out, Holzer out. Ava Schaller. Corinne Light back as well for this final stretch. 11.40 and ticking in this second half. A soldier glue with the goal kick. Stokes, one header forward, Schmidtline giving chase, but that will only roll back to Oh Soldier Glue. Her punt away, headed forward by Amano. Attack here from Lehigh. On sack, able to pick up the loose ball. Ball forward, got by Shuey, but Ashman there to cover. Now Jutton. Curran Light. Back to Rosing. It's ping ponged around and ends up on the feet of Ashman. Light. Liss was calling for it, didn't get it instead. It ends up with Sherman on the far side. And then cleared away for a Lehigh, a Lehigh throw. Under 10 minutes to go. Pair of subs set to re-enter for Colgate. Stokes to Anelli, forward for Stokes. Chance to run onto this one. One touch heavy, one touch a little lighter, and she ended up being stonewalled by Shuey. Chest the ball up 
only where she could get it. Three Raiders converge on her and gets a pass away to Odell. Sherman cutting past Anelli. Curran light, unable to settle. DiCaprio there defensively. And the contact that was in the midfield uh, ended up being called after the fact. So free kick's gonna come from within Lehigh's own half. Eight and a half minutes to go. Still scoreless here in Hamilton. Schaefer to take. Floated in, Stokes unable to win the first header. Shuey did and blasts it away. Into the Colgate bench area, it'll be a Raider throw. And the subs will come on. Amano out, Schmidline out, Keeling comes back into play, as does Lauren Rogus. Loose ball floated into the middle, rosing a header. And what will this be? Dangerous play against Lehigh. So free kick even closer into where this one, that last one was. Colgate moving quickly to take this. Seven minutes and change to go. Scoreless right now. And a header away into open space. Only to where Anderson can get to it, and she did so, but it's going to be right back down, and she has two Lehigh Mountain Hawks bearing down on her. Does well to only concede a Lehigh throw. The substitute will enter. List comes out. Wendy Fisher back in. This is Fisher, and she's courted off from the ball that time by Anderson. It's out for a Colgate throw with six minutes to play. Battle between Corinne Light and Olivia Anderson, won by the former. Light, cross in over the top and flashed across the face of goal. It rolls towards the corner and is kept in play by Lehigh momentarily. Battle going on there at the corner. Flag ball still in play. And it ends up being knocked out for a Colgate, or excuse me, a Lehigh throw. Ponsack ends up claiming it. it away with 5.05. Whistle here, pair of subs for Colgate on. Giovino, Bezenson. Capillo and Anelli exit. Another throw for Colgate. Continuing to work down that far wing. Stokes, oh, a lot of contact there, no whistle. Giovino. Working towards the goal line to try and keep the ball in play and 
forces the Mountain Hawks to clear rather than play out for a throw. Now it will be played out for a throw with four minutes to go. Giovino out wide, cross in towards Keeling, header towards goal and well over the top, didn't quite get a hold of it. Oh, a lot of contact there. Advantage won't be played as Jutton was really smashed down into the turf. Ball oh, flick ball forward. Giovino unable to find Bezenson, and then she takes a shot off the head on the clearance. Ball still in play, and that'll be a Colgate throw as the official stops the clock to check on Bezenson, make sure she's okay. He deems her to be, and the throw will come from Colgate with 2.20 to go. Stokes had the ball knocked away. Oh, and another shot taken to the head, this time by Giovino. She is up and looking fine as well. The official had called the athletic trainer out into the field as Giovino just hopped right back up. Clock stops at 2 minutes 7 seconds separate us from a draw. Both teams trying to keep that from happening. Corinne Light now on the far side of the field. As we take under 2 minutes to play, Schaller. is light again spinning around Merritt Smith whipped cross in oh no oh what a save that was by Ponsack with 90 seconds Ponsack sprawling to her left to keep a softly hit shot but a shot that looked to have beaten her out from the net and at least for the moment save Colgate from defeat, but a sub coming on, Cotter comes back off. Quick clearance from Colgate, only as far as the top of the 18. Jutton working hard to get it out. And a blast well over the net of Grace Ponsack. 45 seconds away from a draw between two Patriot League foes. Stokes unable to get on the end of that pass. Back come the Mountain Hawks, a header away from Colgate. 30 seconds to play. Long ball forward, Fisher looking to get on the end of it, and she is offside. Which will give Colgate 15 seconds to blast the ball forward. Stokes to Jutton. 
Long ball to Keeling. And she's offside, and that will end the match as the clock ticks to two, to one, and to zero. And that's how it ends. Back and forth they went, Lehigh and Colgate. No goals to be had, though, from either side. They, they lead the field equals, at least tonight. And we leave you as well with the scoreline from Hamilton, the Lehigh Mountain Hawks nil, the Colgate Raiders.